guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm in like a bummy little t-shirt, but that's okay. We're not here to talk about my shirt. We are here to talk about this, this little gem. If only I could get those eyebrows. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Mm. I totally love this palette. I did not get the first Huda palette. I heard very, very mixed reviews on it. But if it was anything like this, I kind of regret not getting it because these shadows blend flawlessly. Like these shades are intense. This purple, this brown, this burgundy. They are strong, rich colors and they blend like a dream. Do you see this shade on my lid? Purple with a blue shift? Now come on, that is my thing. If you guys know me, you know that is my thing. So. This is what we're going to talk about today. This is one look that I did. You guys are going to see two eye looks in this video. So I'm going to give you a quick little rundown. I'm going to do some swatches. And then we're going to do these eye looks. And, and hopefully you guys will have a formed opinion after this video if you want to pick this up or not. This is along the same lines as Natasha Denona. And they're probably my most favorite shadows of all time. So... I think this is just incredible. I do wish that there was a black in here. I feel like it's lacking a black and I, that kind of runs. And I feel like it's lacking a brow bone, like shimmery shade. This is one brow bone shade that they have, but it's, it's kind of yellow and it's very matte. I mean, not very matte, but there's like no sheen or anything to it. So I do, I do kind of wish that there was something different for the brow bone. That's probably the main thing that I miss the most with this palette. But like the crease shades are incredible. The lid shades are gorgeous. The <sighs> deep shades blend like you would not even believe. They blend so good. Now this shade here, this is intense glitter. Like it is just straight glitter smushed into a little pan. This can get a little bit messy, and I do find it's it's kind of hard to build up on the lid. It's certainly gorgeous. Like, it's so sparkly, so just glitter. Like, New Year's Eve, Christmas, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But you do kind of have to work with it a little bit. But, like, these shades over here, absolutely stunning. Just put them on with your finger on your lid. Well, I say with your finger, I like to put shadows on like metallic shades with my finger. I feel like you just get so much more like sheen and they just show up so much better than with a flat brush. But some people swear by a brush. I, you guys know, I always put metallic shades on with my finger. I would never put them on with a brush because you lose so much like intensity from the shadows. So these I love to put on with my finger. Like I'll just do like a a super simple quick crease slap one of these on the lid black liner and you're good to go there's so many different things that you can do with this palette you can do the purples you can go more like reddish orange you can do like a neutral just like a brown gold so yeah I'm gonna throw in some swatches for you guys you can see like one swipe swatches I will do brush swatches so that nobody gets on my case and they're like, why didn't you do brush swatches? You're getting both. And then after the swatches, we will go in, do the two eye looks. I feel like the best way for you guys to determine if you want to get this palette is to see it in action. I can sit here and say, oh, it's amazing. I'm obsessed. You guys want to see it in action. I mean, I know that's how I am. Like, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me, but show me how the shadows perform. I feel like this is a good palette because you can do a lot of different looks with it. Some palettes I have, I love. The quality's great, they perform beautifully, but I feel like I can only get one, one or two looks out of them. With this, I feel like I'm constantly inspired to try different looks and to like do different color combinations. So yeah, let's get into the swatches. And then I give you guys more info during the two eye looks because I did voiceovers. So we'll talk more then. Okay, let's do this. Okay, getting into swatches. So first I'm doing a finger swatch, then we'll go in with a brush. The first one that I'm swatching is Desert Sand. 
This is what I would consider to be the only brow bone shade in the palette. Um, and I did do them in order of their like categories. So I started with all the mattes. So the next one is musk. This in the crease is golden. And the brush that I'm using, by the way, is a Makeup Geek brush. It is the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. It's a really good flat shader brush. The next shade is probably my favorite crease shade in the palette. This one is Eden. You guys will see me use this in both eye looks. I freaking love this palette. Palette. Well, I do love the palette, but I love this eyeshadow. It kind of reminds me of uh, Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, but it's a little bit more like peachy. So yeah, it's really good. This next one is Amber. <sighs> I love this one too. This one blends out really well. All of the deep like reddish and orangey shades just blend out so nice. And I was actually surprised. I usually don't do brush swatches, but most of the shades, especially the mattes, swatched really nicely with a brush. This next one is Oud. I'm, I'm probably saying that really wrong, but it's O-U-D. That's how it's spelled. Um, this is another one that just blends out so nicely. Like all of the mattes do. I'm going to sound like a broken record. And then next up, mm, I love this one. This one is Amethyst. And you'll see this in the first eye look. It's like the perfect shade of purple. It's It has a little bit of like a pink undertone to it. And when you blend it out, it just looks so, 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 so pretty. And it works really well with the orange shades in the palette. Next one, Saffron. Yes, that is Saffron. That's the one that I use in the second eye look pretty much like everywhere. This is the one that just, oh my gosh, you guys, it's like so rich, but it is so easy to blend out. And then the last one is Blazing. This one I haven't used a ton. I have used it here and there and it blends out really well, but like Saffron I've used so much and I'm just so impressed by it. So those are all of the mattes. So next we're going to do what Huda refers to as pressed pearls. So the first one is Blood Moon. And this I used a little bit in the second eye look. I was surprised it didn't swatch very well with the brush. Because when I use it on my eyes with a brush, it works really, really well. Um, the next one is Nefertiti. Now, this one I use, it's looking very silver in that swatch, but it's actually really gold. This is the one that is very, very fine. There will be little pieces of glitter just like floating through the air. So I would recommend using Fix Plus with this just to kind of, kind of like bind it together. Uh, the next one is Royal. This is a gorgeous like eggplant shade. So pretty. I would like to do some sort of look with this shade. I think it's just beautiful. And then next up, I'm trying to do this by memory, you guys. Probably not a good idea. Uh, the next one is Cashmere. And this one's like a taupey. Wait, that's not Cashmere. Is it? Oh my God, it looks so purple in the swatches. That is cashmere. It's actually like a really gorgeous taupe shade. So pretty. Next one is angelic. And you can see some of these shades do have fallout. I would recommend doing your eyes first before a foundation. I totally ran out of room. So I'm, yeah, I'm the worst, you guys. But at least you can see, you can see it swatched really well with a brush. But some of the shades do have fallout. So something to keep in mind. I don't like to do my eyes first, but with this palette, I usually do. This shade is Turkish Delight. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's like extremely saturated. Amazing eyeshadow. And then we are going to get into the duochrome shades. So the first one is Celestial. And I don't know why it's not picking up as well on camera. But in person, it's this really gorgeous, like, rosy gold. And it looks beautiful on the lid. I do like to use Fix Plus with this one. This is the star of the freaking palette. This is Twilight. It's a like a lavender violet shade, but it has that, like, bluish shift. Almost like an ultraviolet shift. 
Definitely use your fingers with this one. It did not swatch well with a brush, but with the finger, with the finger, you'll see in my eye look how beautiful that looks on the lid. And then this last duochrome is retrograde. Kind of reminds me of blue brown from MAC, but it has a little bit more purple to it. It's a beautiful shade. It didn't swatch well. Either swatch was not looking that great, but I swear on the eye, it is stunning. I do like to layer it though, because it's more of a topper. There you can see, like, oh, look at Twilight. Oh my God, so pretty. And then the last one is the glitter. This one is called Cosmo. I, I don't know how I feel about this shade. I'm kind of torn. It is straight up glitter, you guys. It's not like a shimmery topper. It is straight up chunks of glitter. So I would definitely use Fix Plus with this one just, again, to like bind it together. It's beautiful, but it's very, very messy. Okay, so now we're going to get into the eye looks, which is my favorite part. So this first look is very purple and oh, it's my favorite look to do with this palette. So I'm just prepping my lids because I am doing my eyes first. So I used my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, which I've been loving, and then my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer, which is amazing. And then I just set everything with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, which I am totally in love with. And then we're gonna go in and get started. I never do my eyes first. This is this is a big deal. So I'm starting out with the shade Eden, which is my go-to crease shade. It just blends out so nicely, and it's like the perfect starting shade because it's not too intense. I, I love this shade. I just think it's so pretty. It has just the perfect amount of like peach and orange and like neutral tones to it. I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. And I'm using an E40 from Sigma. So then I'm going into blazing and I'm taking just a little bit of this right in my crease. And I tried to keep as much blending in as possible so you guys could really see in real time how these shadows blend out. And I'm using a Morphe, I think that's an R38. R38, R39, and the R37 are all amazing. So yeah, just putting that in my crease, blending it out a little bit, and then I'm just taking my E40 and just making sure that there's no harsh lines. So what are we doing next, girl? Next, we're gonna go into Amethyst. Love this shade, and I'm using my little Haku Hodo brush, which is, oh my gosh, if you wanna invest in a good blending brush, this Haku Hodo brush is incredible. I will put it down below in case you guys are interested. But this amethyst shade is like such a rich shade, but it's just, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it just blends out so easily. Like I've used purples before that you put them on and they just sit there and you try and try to blend them out and they just don't want, they just don't want to do anything. These, I don't know, they're just so easy to work with. So I would totally recommend this palette. Um, I took a little bit of that on the outer part of my lid, and you can see when that blends out, it kind of takes on like a hot pink hue almost, which I love. That is like my favorite kind of purple. Then I'm going into Oud. I'm probably saying that wrong. And I just wanted a little, little tiny bit of this right in my crease just to deepen things up a little bit. And this is another shade, it's so deep, it's like an intense brown, but it's really, really easy to work with. Ugh, how many times, Nicole, how many freaking times? Then I'm going in with my glitter glue from Too Faced. I always use glitter glue no matter what eyeshadows I'm using. I don't know if some people consider this cheating, but like I use it every day, every time I do eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take Twilight on my finger just watch. Oh, look at that shade. Oh my gosh. When it's on your lid, it's so ultraviolet and oh my gosh. I love this shade. I love it so much. It kind of reminds me of a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, Carnival. But Carnival, I think that's what it's called. Carnival doesn't have as much of a blue shift. I love that this one is not glitter. It's just like intense metallic look at that come on oh love it then i took a little bit more amethyst 
just to deepen up the outer edge of my eye, I was loving my lid. Then I took my Lottie London AM to PM eyeliner and just did my tight line and waterline. I did all of my makeup off camera other than my eyes. And I did take MAC Nylon on my brow bone because the shade that's in here, Desert Sand, it's like yellow toned and I just did not think it was going to look good with this look. So I did use nylon and I also put nylon on my inner corner. I really wish this palette had another brow bone option. That would make me so happy. Then on my lower lash line, I took a little bit of blazing and then I went over top of it. I totally just like ran the brush right along my eyeball. Um, I took amethyst on top of it and the two of them together just look so so beautiful and then I'm taking just a little bit of amber right at that area on my lower lash line where I feel like eyeshadow never wants to blend so I've been using like a flat brush like this to just like pack it on there this is actually a lip brush from makeup forever but I took twilight and I just wanted to get a little bit on the inner part I did get a lot of fallout so yeah this palette can be a little bit messy um, I did put a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush, and then it was totally fine. But Twilight and Nefertiti are mainly the only two that really have a ton of fallout. So now I am taking Oud, <laughs> and I just took a tiny bit along my upper lash line. I would have liked to have used black, but I kind of wanted to stick with what was in the palette. Then I put on Mascara. I don't remember what I used. I think that's Catrice Glamondall. And that is my look. I love this look so much. This is my favorite look to do with this palette. I just think it's so pretty. Absolutely tooting my own horn right now. Look at that lid. Like, how could you not love it? Okay, look number two is going to be more reddish. And I love this one equally as much. I wanted to show you guys the... Um, eyeshadows are a little bit like they do have some kick up so you you know that's something you have to decide if you're okay with I totally don't care I just blow it off and it's fine um, I started with the shade Eden and I prepped my eyes the same way with concealer and then my Smashbox then I'm going into Saffron I think this is my favorite like intense matte shade in the palette other than Amethyst but this shade <laughs> Should I say it again? You'll see. You'll see how nicely it blends out. It's just a beautiful shade. I have a lot of deep red shades like this. And a lot of them are tricky. Like you really have to spend like 20 minutes freaking blending your eyeshadow out. So I appreciate that this one is very easy to blend out. And I kept this in real time so you guys could see just how it blends. Like look at that. Shut up. So good. Then I'm taking a Smith, I don't know what that brush is, what the number is. Um, I'll put all the brushes down below, but I just packed a little bit on the outer part and the inner part, so I'm doing like a halo eye. I had someone comment on my last video and they're like, could you please do something different? So this for me is something different. So I started out with Saffron, which is the same shade that I put all over my crease. Then I went into that deep brown shade and I just wanted to deepen up my crease just a little tiny bit. So I just ran a little bit of that through just to add like the tiniest bit of depth. And we're about to get to the lid, which is exciting. I never do halo eyes, but when I do them, I really like the way that they look. So thank you to the person who commented that. It made me step out of my box a little bit. So now I'm going to take Nefertiti, and first I took it on my finger, then I take it on a brush, and then I use Fix Plus. So you guys get to see it all. So I started out just putting it on with my finger, and it worked really well, but it definitely did work better with this little, I don't know what brush that is, <coughs> excuse me, it's a Morphe brush. Um, I think it worked better with the brush. But there were like little particles flying everywhere. So I did use Fix Plus and you can see it definitely intensified the eyeshadow and made it like super foiled and metallic, which I love. Some people consider using Fix Plus cheating, but like if you can intensify a shadow, why not? You know, so then I just blended out the edges so there weren't any like abrupt stops. Oh, 
I was feeling myself apparently. I'm using this little tiny Juvia's Place brush. I love this brush. And I'm just running that through my crease with that deep brown shade. Just wanted a little bit more depth in there. But look how nicely that red shade blended out. Right? It just like fades out. Ugh. I'm not like a, a professional when it comes to blending eyeshadow. I think I'm pretty good. But like these shadows just make me feel like, like I'm kind of a professional. Then I took that deep brown shade and I put a little bit on the outer and inner part of my lid. Because I don't know, I just felt like it was too red. And then I actually am going to take a little bit of Turkish Delight. Yes. And I just wanted a little bit of that like... Not so much like a metallic look, but just not as matte. Does that make sense? Probably not. But I love the way that it looked. And then I do end up going over top of my lid just to brighten up that gold. Yeah. Oh, I took Blood Moon. Oh, I took Blood Moon and Turkish Delight. Look at me using all these shadows. So I started with Turkish Delight, then I went in with Blood Moon. I was just kind of playing at this point, just kind of screwing around and trying to use as many shadows as possible. So then I am just deepening up that gold shade on my lid. I love a halo eye. I'm going to do that more because I think it looked really pretty. Using the same Lottie London eyeliner. And you guys, when I was editing, I searched for the clip of me doing my lower lash line and I could not find it anywhere. So... I'm really sorry, but I just used, um, I used saffron and a little bit of blood moon. So I'm just cleaning up and I did have a pretty good amount of fallout. So definitely do your eyes first. And this is the look. I hope you guys liked it. I had so much fun filming this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will see you next time. Let me know down below if you guys end up getting this palette. Okay. Love you. Mwah. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Wait, am I still recording? Oops. My newest addiction, veggie sticks. I cut the top off of the bag. That's what big girls do when they're hungry. Oh, come through purple land, I love you! <gasps> Attempting to use. Oh my god. My glitter just totally broke. I didn't even do anything. I was just sitting here and I. That's so sad. A bitch did and a bitch will. I'm in love with the stripper. She broke and she broke. She cried in my pocket. I'm in love with the stripper. It's a good day. I have a good day. Two hops now. Mm. Slow to the left. Slow to the right. Wanna see me naked, naked, naked? I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. baby.